Hi friends! Today we're going to do my TBR takedown for the month of November. If you missed last month's TBR takedown, the thing you need to know is that I chose with the help of you guys to change my TBR takedown to all of my unread books rather than just the books that I was trying to read in this year. My starting number for the month of November was 196 unread books. It's a lot. So let's start with my purchases for the month. My purchases this month were nine total books. Only five of those count because four were special editions and I don't count special editions because technically those are already read. So let's get the special editions out of the way first. The first is the 10th anniversary edition of The Infernal Devices by Cassie Clare. This is Clockwork Angel. Similar to the 10th anniversary edition of City of Bones, they did a very beautifully artwork edition with all of the different characters and like their birthdays and just so many different things but it is just a copy of the book that is special which is why it's a special edition and obviously I had to have this because I love this series even more than City of Bones and it has my whole dang heart so had to get this. And the other three are the Barnes & Noble special editions of the Folk of the Air series. So you have The Cruel Prince, The Wicked King, and The Queen of Nothing, all by Holly Black. So the regular editions of these are white background and the Barnes & Noble editions are the black background. And quite frankly, I wouldn't be against having those editions that were in the, I think, ooh, I don't remember which book box that they were in, but one of the boxes that you could order have like the really pretty thrown editions. Wouldn't be against having those at some point in my life, but I'll live with these probably because I couldn't hunt those down and afford them if my life depended upon it. As you may know, I don't really keep boxes from box sets, so that's probably going in the trash. Why do you buy a box set if you're not the keeping the box? I, the boxes fall apart and they're a pain in my ass. And sometimes I like to turn a cover outwards, okay? Okay. That leads us to the five books that do count for the month, and they are Ninth House by Leigh Bardugo. This was a book of the month club pick for this month. Actually, three of these were book of the month club picks. If you have not heard of The Ninth House by Leigh Bardugo, this was originally sold to me as a book about a girl in college who learns about secret societies at her college, and there's magic involved. And since having heard some reviews after purchasing this, I realized that it also has a lot to do with sexual assault and the power that these prestigious white men have over women and things of that nature as well. So, I mean, it's not exactly what I expected, but I definitely think that it will be a good read. And I have The Guinevere Deception by Kirsten White, again, book of the month pick. And this book follows, it's like a retelling of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. And I believe, from what I understand, that Guinevere is a changeling. She is a fae child that has taken over the place of a human child. And she is put into place by Merlin to be married to Arthur so that she can help protect Arthur from his life and what's going to kill him in the future. I've heard mixed reviews about this so far, but I, and I personally know that I have loved a Kirsten White book, which was Slayer, absolutely loved, and I have DNF'd a Kirsten White book, which is And I Darken. So I knew this one was going to be a toss-up for me, but I really like King Arthur retelling, so I figured I would give this one a shot. And the final book of the month book that I have is The Girl the Sea Gave Back by Adrian Young. This is a spin-off of sorts of Sky in the Deep, which has some of the tribes that were in Sky in the Deep are in this, which I haven't read Sky in the Deep yet, so I'm going to put off reading this so that I can read Sky in the Deep. I have it on loan from the library. Ooh, that's a lot of words. Anyway, so this book follows a girl that is washed up on shore as a child with her body covered by markings or tattoos, and essentially the tribes people that pick her up believe that that means that she is a seer and can see the future. Essentially growing up some people wanted to kill her for that and some people wanted to protect her for that and that's pretty much all I know. And then also I have The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black, the regular edition because you can't just buy the special edition. That would be crazy. Did I talk about these? I didn't. If you are unfamiliar what the Folk of the Air series is, it follows a girl named Jude who her, her twin sister, and her elder sister, um, their parents were murdered when they were children by a fairy who is her 
older sister's father and he takes them in and raises them as his own children which is fucking weird. The story follows Jude and her sisters and their life in fairy um, trying to adapt to it and learning that fairy is a really cruel place to be. The series follows those girls trying to find their place in this world and yeah. And then the last book that I got this month was Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle. And I know that this was recently turned into a Netflix movie and it's got three novellas in it that are connected. I bought this because it was the pick for Beautifully Bookish Bethany's Patreon book club. For this month we're going to read the book and then watch the movie together and I'm also going to be reading it for the Tis the Season Thought. I did not have any unhauls or DNFs this month. Now let's get to the books that I did read this month. Now for these books I did read three. Only one of them counts as coming off of my TBR because one of them was an ARC and one of them was an audiobook to a book that I don't own and essentially if you're new to this format I will link in the description box below as well as in the cards my link to my wrap-up video. I don't typically do wrap-ups in this video otherwise it would be extra long. So the first book that I read is Rebel Girls by Elizabeth Keenan and then I read The 18th Abduction by James Patterson and Maxine Petro and then I read The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black obviously because I had to and this was the only book that actually counted because I didn't I don't own the other two. So doing that math 196 plus 5 minus 1 equals 200 unread books. Not where I want to be for sure. I'm going to try to really kill it in December and get under 200. A girl can dream. Hopefully I'll be starting out 2020 with less than 200 books on my TBR and hopefully in 2020 life goes more expectedly rather than unexpectedly and I can actually get in there and kill it. That's the plan. So that is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and bonus videos on the weekends. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future make sure you subscribe and until then I will see you guys next time. Bye!